John, today jurors watched and listened as an Indianapolis police officer struggled through his testimony as he listened to himself record it, struggling to get help to his decimated neighborhood, struggling to save the life of one of his neighbors. Moments after a fireball exploded in the Richmond Hill neighborhood, homeowner and IMPD detective Sean Looper was on his police radio calling for help, directing arriving officers. The radio conversations played for jurors chronicle the initial confusion and panic, fear of leaking gas and more explosions. We got fire coming every way, he radioed. The detective's attention then focused on the collapsed and burning home of Dion and Jennifer Longworth. We got a man trapped in the back. He's screaming. A fireman was trying to pull Dion free. We need a hose to the rear or we're going to lose a fireman. Oh, God. Looper pleaded, then the fireman waved him over to help. Were you able to go over and help him, asked Prosecutor Denise Robinson. No, answered Looper. Why not? The detective paused, catching his emotions. Due to the intensity of the fire, he said quietly. The young couple perished in the fire. Mark Leonard is charged with their murders and dozens of counts of arson and conspiracy. Investigators say he led the plan to burn down Monserrati Shirley's home and collect the insurance money. The explosion devastated the neighborhood, destroying or damaging more than 100 homes. One after another, homeowners are telling their personal stories to the jury. Several testified it felt like an earthquake, the loudest sound they've ever heard. One said it almost threw him out of bed. They described doors and windows blown out, sidings blown off, homes structurally broken and pushed from their foundations, and lives that took months to put back together. The storytelling continues on the witness stand tomorrow morning. Prosecutors plan to call roughly 80 homeowners, counting on their small individual stories to build on the big picture of a crime known as the Richmond Hill Explosion. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Rich. And you can see more testimony from today and yesterday by clicking on our story on the homepage and look for the trial blog. You can also see the prior stories we've done on the Southside Explosion at our website, WTHR.com.